Hi, Leo. Here's a general look at your solar chart for September 2010. Now, you're going to have to get organised over the first three weeks of this month, I think, because there's a practical time in store, uh, sorting things out on basic levels, things like finances uh, or health matters or maintaining or protecting what you've already got in your possession. Um, uh, something that maybe you've created previously um, uh, or you're in the process of creating. So this will be time for repair, maintenance, um, uh, keeping that thing secure. And also it's, it's very much going to be a time of maybe discussing strategies or schedules, making plans about how you can improve your material security. Um, and also time for some physical TLC, uh, maybe improvements in diet, exercise, better lifestyle choices, uh, different mental approach even. Uh, on another level, you may be seeking to improve your home comforts, the physical stuff that you have around you in your space. Uh, or in fact, seeking to improve the space that you live in by getting another space. Um, anything which pampers you or helps you to feel better, um, makes life easier, makes you feel more secure or more at ease is the order of this month. Uh, your ability to achieve what you want in these areas is likely to flow more easily from the ninth onwards um, and really grabs your attention in, in a kind of a proactive dynamic kind of way from the 15th. So previous to mid-month though that's going to be a great time for you to be cooking up money-making schemes uh, if you avoid playing the mental record which says you know how much you haven't got or, or, or how out of sorts you do feel um, and rather you know focus your attention on how you would like it to be even though it hasn't arrived yet just uh, resolutely um, aim your gaze and point your intention on that state of affairs as you would like them to be rather than as they are now in the here and now. And you'll be helped with that because happily Jupiter is poised to return to its previous position. That'll be from the ninth, opening new doors related to shared resources. Uh, so there's going to be an influence around over several months to come. That's until uh, early next spring, which is going to help you out materially. Um, someone or something is going to be there to give you a financial boost or maybe it's not money, maybe it's morale boost, or maybe it is um, helping you with the practicalities of your life at the moment in some way, or maybe with equipment, or maybe with property, or it's just a resource um, that through that person could be a partner, could be somebody, you know, just in your inner circle, or it could indeed be somebody that you haven't met yet. Um, somebody will make those sorts of things available to you. Uh, maybe it's an outside agency you've, you've applied to for, for funding or, or, or a resource source, or in fact it's um, some sort of windfall. It can even be like that. Um, maybe, you know, something from the past. So, um, one way or another, you see, you're likely to be able to tap into this um, and it could just be somebody uh, around who is happy to share their good fortune with you. But also, you know, it's a give and take thing. It's a two way street. So um, they do that for you, but you do that for them. You know, it could be your teaching, your expertise, your motivating factor, even your money. Um, your input um, that you're giving in exchange for what you need from them. So, you know, happy state of affairs can ensue there, I think. Um, 
it also this vibration could work that you and somebody else are getting a lot closer um, in a personal relationship you and a significant other are getting more intimate um, understanding each other better and um, you feel a deep joy um, coming from this union on a more business type level it could be that um, you, you sense an inner growth and a stabilizing of your emotions as well um, through uh, an interaction with this other party whether that's personal professional however it is for you the um, vibration um, and the potential in that vibration is, is sitting there for you to tap into as I say, starting from the 9th up until next spring. Mars at the moment, um, moving much faster than Jupiter, is in your communication sector until mid-month. That's going to accelerate the mental processes, um, bringing in maybe more uh, tasks to do, to do related to paperwork, correspondence, um, discussions, uh, um, a st mm, interaction that you have with other others over the wires, uh, anything around media, um, buying, selling, promotions. Mars here energizes your thinking and makes you more assertive in your speech. Uh, but be careful you don't come on too strong, Leo, uh, for others to handle. Uh, conversations may get a little heated at times as well, but they're, they're not going to be boring. They're likely to be very lively. Um, but the danger area, I think, would be between the 9th and the 15th if there is any danger area at all. But also you could be running around more, um, I think, and um, being very... having to keep to the clock, maybe, or being very scheduled somehow, either because you've chosen it or because it's been imposed on you. Um, also be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew uh, during the first half of this month. Um, learn to say no when you realise that if you take on one more thing, then it's going to <clears throat> spread you too thin and you're not going to be able to produce the quality that you like or have enough quality time for yourself or for you and somebody else as, as you'd like. <clears throat> and uh, you'll have a lot on your mind during this phase up until mid-month, but this transit is excellent, as I say, for anything around um, creative self-expression, media, but also educational activities, studying and teaching too. Now, Saturn is in the same area for two plus years. Saturn's going to be in your communications area, meaning you will be working harder, um, learning new concepts, um, uh, transmitting information. Um, maybe you'll be learning a language or, or a new set of codes, uh, um, gathering information. Um, networking, running around more mentally and physically, uh, more short journeys, but maybe, and when I say short journeys, I don't mean journeys halfway across the world, I mean sort of uh, journeys that you can do in a day, um, but maybe for more serious reasons or business reasons or because you are building something through it, because Saturn is the builder planet so if it's in the area of transport and communications, you know, mental, physical, um, and, and, and learning and education, then it, it's to do with step-by-step -step incremental building something. Um, <clears throat> so it may be for more serious reasons. It may be for work-type reasons as well, you know, that you have to do this kind of short distance to and froing for as a routine, you know, it becomes a kind of a routine, whether it's an every week routine or an every day routine or an every month routine, it becomes a routine. Um, and also you'll be wanting to get your head around uh, maybe a new system uh, or it could be a new culture. Uh, it could be somebody that you are connecting with who's got a very different take on things or it may be a 
kind of a, a, an environment of people who've got a very different take on things and it's definitely not your take. <laughs> um, they're fundamentally different in their thinking to you. Uh, they come from a very different place. And so you're going to have to learn how to be patient, maybe zip your lips sometimes, uh, maybe sort of count to 10 before you speak, um, but also become the creative listener. You know, really do find the loophole somehow or other um, and um, yeah, learn, learn from it. Uh, uh, and at the very least, or I could say at the very most, this type of challenge and testing, because wherever Saturn goes, it challenges and tests um, in your neighborhood, your locality, your environment, um, um, whether it's, you know, physically around you or over the wires, means that you will definitely know what you don't want. <laughs> and because you know what you don't want, you'll, I guess, if you've got uh, any intelligence, want to pull out the stops to get out of that and get what you do want, you see. So, as I say, Saturn is going to be very, very good for educational activities. So sometimes we can educate ourselves out of um, a corner or, or a, an unpleasant sort of situation. Now, um, from mid-month, the mental focus uh, is going to be turning inwards. That's when Mars moves and um, you'll be looking to be active at home or wherever you're located. So shoving things around, you know, changing things around, bringing things in, taking things out. Um, or it could be about property itself um, and uh, redoing the space. Maybe it's possible, actually, because Venus is going to be going in there on the 9th. So you be, may be wanting to beautify your space, maybe thinking creatively about the space that you live in, um, making improvements anyway to the space or getting into a space that you can make nice. Or it may translate into a busier time um, at home with family members or with people coming into the home. Um, or rather, if you're not at home, then being in an environment where you are anchored, whether you like it or not, um, and then uh, getting maybe something quite nice out of the contact that is happening in, in and around you. Uh, so, uh, busier time with family members, uh, busier, busier time maybe in the neighborhood or within your tribe. You'll be working harder at establishing a more secure or comfortable uh, base for yourself, as I said. Uh, uh, maybe you'll be finding, though, that there's a psychological skeleton in the closet, uh, which is constantly blocking you mentally. It's like this mental sort of short circuit that happens um, or and somebody pushes your buttons and you find yourself reacting in the same old way or feeling the same old fearfulness, whatever it is. Um, uh, so maybe now is the time when you just want to clear out that closet and um, it, it looks like you'd be pretty busy actually on the, on the home patch from mid month. So if it's busy externally on the home patch or wherever you're located, then you can do a lot of work on the home patch inside as well. Um, but you may find some of you that you might have to juggle, you know, worldly commitments with sort of home and family obligations, uh, career related. You may have to juggle things there. Now, fortunately, Venus is um, definitely smoothing the path. Old fuse can be laid to rest. Anything to do with the past can be ironed out and, you know, good enough. Shake hands on that. That's that. And um, she encourages a friendly social environment wherever you are. And you'll be appreciating, I think, your environment and your surroundings and the people therein overall. Um, and um, now Neptune, just a quick mention there, Neptune continues to demand more understanding compassion or sacrifice regarding a close relationship, there may be uncertainties within partnerships. This has been going on for a long time. Something not quite clear. Don't quite know where you stand. 
uh, or how they are, you know, today or tomorrow. Or it may also mean um, another way it can work is that uh, somebody else is displaying these qualities towards you, having these concerns about you. Um, at times, uh, this can be so, but um, you're maybe not seeing that or misconstruing their intentions or finding them elusive or absent, um, even when they're there, <laughs> uh, physically there, um, mentally and emotionally gone, um, or pie in the sky, or, or, and, and, and you would like to control their behaviour more, um, or maybe you aren't seeing them for who they really are. Uh, so. Um, time now to kind of um, wipe off the rose colour from the spectacles and, and, and see what's going on. Uh, it'll be easier for you to do starting from next year. From the 23rd, um, looks like a more sociable time. Uh, creative, yeah, fun um, and um, right in your own backyard and uh, whether that's right at home or wherever you are or over the wires. And uh, that's it for September. If you know your rising sign, listen to that too, because it'll give you a different take on what I've said here. And I'll see you the next time.